Hello Aries, welcome back for your weekly reading. Welcome, welcome. I just want to say thank you for all the lovely donations you guys have been sending my way. I truly appreciate it. And every time you do, I end up doing something for the channel like buying a new deck. I just bought a new mouse, which I love. <laughs> and it goes with the whole entire theme. But yes, thank you. Now, let's see what's going on here with you, Aries, for the week ahead. So we're looking from the second to the third week of uh, August situation. My God, where is the summer flying off to? It's almost over. Sort of. All right. What's coming towards them, spirit? What's coming towards them, please? One more. Thank you. It's too many and confusing. Just one more spirit. What's coming towards my beautiful Aries? I need to know a little bit more about this strength card, which by the way means Leo. There's a lot of shit coming your way. Every time I try to get one more card, it keeps giving me a story, whatever. Let's see what it's trying to say. Um, what don't they see coming? All right, story it is. Their advice, please. Outcome, please. For the week, outcome, please. Thank you. Overall message of the week is the Knight of Swords. Interesting. All right, so let me organize a little. So the overall theme is Knight of Swords. Somebody's rushing in to give you some kind of information or communication. What this information is, no one knows. What I do know is it's fast and it's furious. <laughs> So there it is, the Knight of Swords. Let's see what's going on in recent past. Sorry for the background noise. Um, three, no, the Eight of Pentacles. What is it trying to say, two, four, six, eight? Yeah, you guys are sitting there working on your craft. You're like, whatever, I can't be bothered. I'm just gonna work on my coin. And some of you are saying this not like because you're trying to overcompensate because earth signs tend to do that. They really focus on their coin and their money, especially how to compartmentalize their issues. You're doing that, but this is different. This is you really working on your craft, really trying to get your coin on um, because I feel like you guys are starting to feel some sort of momentum. Regardless of what's going on in your love life, there's some serious momentum on the financial front or work front. And this is something that you really enjoy doing and you're like putting your heart and soul into it. Uh, others of you, this is you working really hard towards a certain goal or situation, whether it's with a person or a dynamic, that's that. Um, let me see what this is. Nine of cups, wish fulfillment, two of pentacles, two of Jesus. All right, so in the recent past, it looked like a lot of you were dealing with somebody that wasn't really emotionally available or ready for a relationship, and then all of a sudden they were. Others of you, you met somebody new. It could have been a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Um, just coming on in and Cancer heavily is here, showing me Cancer, Chariot and King of Cups. Coming, rushing on in. Um, it just felt like at some point you felt lonely. A lot of you could be in a relationship or a situation where even though you're with somebody, you still feel alone. In any event, there was a new situation that came into your lives, a fresh new start in love, all right, with this Ace of Cups in the recent past. And I think I do remember in your last video that some of you were initiating some new love cycle. This brought you wish fulfillment. So there's a fresh new start in love, whether it was with somebody you knew or just a new person altogether. There was an initiation, and again, it brought you some sort of wish fulfillment. Um, but you remain steadfast on working towards this relationship, this goal. Others of you, it was work-related because it was really showing you what your happiness was all about. Now, 
you also landed in the place of the two of cups i'm sorry the two of wands and the two of pentacles two twos meaning you were trying to you were at that crossroads in your life and you knew that your life was changing right before your eyes and you had big changes but these were positive changes at least in your own personal perspective for some of you, it was switching careers and lives. Others of you was switching out of all relationships, getting into new ones, um, changing up your friends. I, I, I feel like Aries, a lot of you had one foot in the old life and one in the new, and now you're shifting into the new life. Even the friends and the family and the people you were associating with in the recent past, I think you might have had some kind of epiphany about this, that like you were dealing with small energy small people, small energy, things that were, you know, not at your level and you were just there. And, and those are the people I think you're starting to realize were holding you back in life in general. All right. And yeah, because the, the seven and of wands is here, which was like a resistance of some kind. I almost feel like this was a resistance on your part, Aries, where you personally were resisting all the big changes that were coming towards you. Maybe at some point they were extremely overwhelming, but the fact that you've been in hermit mode where you're now coming out on the other end, you're starting to see that. You were like, those changes were big. Those changes were overwhelming. I was going through a lot of pain. I was going through a lot of transition. Because it's interesting because while you were hurt by somebody, you also started doing reflecting on other parts of your life, like your friendships, the situation with your family, your jobs, or your, your this, your that. And you're like, oh, while I'm in, in timeout mode or hermit mode, what about this situation, that situation? Yeah, that, that whole bag of tea right there does not suit me. It doesn't suit me at all. With all of these changes, what happened was it started bringing you a level of success. You now initiated and you ignited some sort of fire within you, Aries, to, and motivated yourselves to work towards that goal. That's why I'm seeing those eight of pentacles because I was trying to understand it. And now I also see the knight of swords. Somebody is rushing here in with messages. This could be you or somebody's coming in towards you. It is the theme for the week. We're going to see how that plays out in a second. But usually that tells me it's not thought out. Somebody, when I say rushed, they didn't think things through when they decided to run off and communicate whatever it is that they're communicating. Now, let's see what's going on in your situation. You have, ooh, King of Wands in reverse. Yikes, what's that all about? Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This is turning your back on um, this incoming energy, this charismatic, passionate energy. He, This person's inverted, which means like, no, not for me. No, thank you. A diss, a goodbye, a turn your back on. Um, or it just didn't work out. Something happened there. But we'll see in a moment. All right. Now we have also the eight of wands in reverse. There's a lack of communication. That's what's happening. I'm like, what is that? Yeah, three of cups. This was like dating, talking to somebody, and there was a lack of communication. There was a lack of going back and forth. So there was like a rejection with this person, but 10 of cups, you were like a semi couple. You were happy with each other. You are happy with each other, but there's a lack of communication going on right now with this king of wands that I see here. And I don't know if it's because there's a third party situation or there's a, a difficulty in having some sort of reconciliation going on here. Let's see when we clarify in a moment what's actually coming towards you. Some of you could be dealing with a Leo. Strength is here. The Tower, Scorpio energy. A breakup, a falling apart of some kind. Forewarned is forearmed. The Hermit. <laughs> There's the Hermit, Virgo. Uh, Justice, which is Libra. And the Six of Pentacles, which for me is a bit of breadcrumbing. And the Seven of... There's a lot of wands in your reading. Wands are action. Seven of Wands, which is a resistance of some kind. Okay, so when I see uh, Strength and the Seven of Wands, this is total resistance. Somebody here is resisting a situation with a person because there was a lack of balance or there was some sort of um, breadcrumbing. Somebody took a time out here. 
So, okay. So from what I'm understanding, somebody took a step back from this relationship. It was working. It was fine. You were both happy. Then somebody took a step back to reflect because of what they were getting out of the relationship. This brought the foundation down. This brought the tower down. This even brought down the illusions. Or if there was any delusions, it all came crumbling down with the tower. And then with hermit mode, you're like, all right, I really need to process this. But with justice over here, somebody came back or somebody is coming back because it's in the future position. Those of you that are in court, you will win because it's face up with coins. So there's that. Um, and this is you defending your actions in court for some of you. Holding your ground with strength um, because of a divorce potentially or separation. Others of you that are dealing relationship-wise, th this is really taking a big pause and reflection because of what is going on in this re in this relationship. Somebody here is saying, is estimating their value, and they're saying to themselves, "Well, there's a lack of reciprocity here. What the hell is this?" So there's somebody here is holding back from moving forward within a relationship. We'll see in a moment because the tower is there. And I have warned uh, you guys from last week, the tower only happens to us when we don't do things. Like if we don't clear space or if we don't move on or if we don't make that decision, whether it's to, you know, get out of a marriage or a bad relationship or to forget an ex or to get out of a bad job or whatever it might be or in a situation that you are with your family, whatever it is, the spirit's going to take it away from you anyway. Let's see what's going on. No choice is a choice. What well, you don't see coming the fool. This is a lot of major arcanas. Guys, in the coming weeks, I'm warning you, there's going to be some major energies coming down upon you. I've never seen so many major arcanas. The fool, the wheel of fortune, the higher font. This is marriage. Some of you are leaving a marriage. The wheel of fortune. Big changes are coming your way. Four of wands, definitely. Empress, every single card here is major con except for one. That's crazy. The Hierophant talks about marriage and a commitment of some kind. The Empress is talking about you, what the, your empire, your world, your foundation. Why I say that? Because the Four of Wands is here. And the Wheel of Fortune is talking about the big changes that are headed your way. You're about to take a, a fool's journey, which is you're about to start a new chapter in your life where you're going to take a lot of risk. And you're going to move forward and has everything to do with your foundation, whether it's your marriage, your commitment, or you're buying a home or whatever it is that you're doing. But spirit's got your back with the wheel of fortune. You are building something. Some of you are building a home. Some of you are building a company, a legacy, a, a family, like having children, the higher font, marriage, commitment, something big. You guys are on a mission. <laughs> you're on a mission. That's what this is. You're on a mission. Now, let me see what your um, advice is here. Two, four, six of cups. Someone from the past. Nostalgia. Seven of cups. Options. Two of cups. There's a, these are all cups. What's happening? That's really weird. I really shuffled this deck hardcore. I can't believe it. I'm seeing all cups here in your advice, which talks about your emotions. So... There's someone here from the past that you have serious regret and um, some of you are it's guilt, some of you are it's regret over how things had ended. But this is somebody who feels the same way as you do. They also have regrets. They also have guilt. They also feel bad things ended the way they ended. Because to them, they feel like you're also their soulmate with the Two of Cups. Seven of Cups, it's like you're both mirroring each other. You're both doing the same thing. You're both reflecting on your feelings, the past. Six of Cups, Five of Cups, Two of Cups. Two of Cups is how you two were together. Five of Cups, what went down, how it went wrong. Six of Cups, thinking about the past or reflecting on the past. And the Seven of Cups, reviewing your options. So overall, your advice here, guys is really for you to really face this, really face the situation of your feelings and process them. If you sweep them under the rug, they're just gonna come out and bite you on the ass later on down the road at an inopportune time on top of it. 
So spirit's like saying, but what you're processing, your other person is processing. But you do. You need to feel these feelings. Think about the past. Think about what went wrong. And then you can move on. Unfortunately, there is somebody here with the two of cups where this person feels the same way as you do. Why are they saying this to you? Because there's a potential of you going back and fixing it should you choose to. If not, seven of cups. Make your choice. There's other options. They're not the only one. Let's see what your outcome is. Page of Wands. Nine of Pentacles. I see. Four of Swords. I see. Wow. This is kind of kind of cool in a way. It's fucked up, but cool. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm just gonna tell you the truth, guys. Ten of Swords is betrayal. It's a fuck over. It's a backstab. Ten of Swords. There's nothing else I could say about this, but I don't think it's happening to you. I think it already happened because you're recovering from it. Four of Swords. Four of Swords is healing, resting, recovering from a betrayal, recovering from an ending of some kind because now you're single. I hate to say it, Nine of Pentacles. This is you being single, but here's the upswing. The upswing is you're excited. You're like, fuck this shit. I'm ready for new stuff. Page of Wands. I'm excited. All right. Yeah, I got screwed over. I processed my feelings, my emotions, as Spirit is telling me to do. That's why this is making sense now. I'm healing from this betrayal. I'm I'm fresh. I've gotten over it. I'm good to go for new energy to come in towards me. Because that's what it feels like to me. Feels to me like out of this whole entire thing, you're turning your back towards this hot mess express and this disaster and your spirit's like saying, yeah, process these feelings, this shit that went down on you and, you know, heal from this betrayal, which you are, because that's the outcome. Nine of Pentacles, I ain't gonna lie. That's you being single. That's also you being financially independent on your own. You, your own sugar mama, you, your own sugar daddy. And you no other way to be. And you excited because you know that now. I know that for myself. All right, let's see, guys. But you're going to see that now, too. And you are going to be excited. Because this is future stuff. I don't know how you feel today, but I'm telling you how you're going to feel the day is coming. All right, so let's go ahead and start clarifying all of this stuff. Universe Angels Spirit Guides from a beautiful Aries. At first, I was, like, starting to read, like, all these cards. It's like, oh, my God, I'm so confused. What's happening here? But I get it. There's a lot of shit going on. I don't know. I feel like for some of you, this tower is a little sudden, like really sudden. Like, I don't, I think it's like unexpected, not something you were expecting because things were like, okay. And then all of a sudden, boom, the rug was pulled out from under you. What is the situation over here? Clarify, please, with this 10 of cups and the three of uh, cups, the king of wands in reverse, where, by the way, all the cards are upright in this deck. So that's weird. Yeah, there was, there's some fighting and arguing going on here with this person. Oh, there's a lack of communication. Yeah, there's a lack of reciprocity. Anything else for the situation? This person feels like they, they, I don't know if constantly challenge you is the right word, but it feels like com competitive arguing. Weird. Anyway, so you feel stuck, right? Some of you feel stuck in this situation. Because of the arguing, the, the challenges that you're facing, the blocks, the obstacles. But I would worry, guys. There is a passionate new beginning coming towards you in the near future. All right, let's see what's going on here. Coming towards you with this tower, the hermit, justice. You're going to get justice for whatever this bullshit is that you, you're going through or you went through. Because you did your due diligence. You put your time in. You did. The, you made the right moves. You made the right calls. Now the call is in, in, in their field. It's their play. What is strength, please? Tower. Honestly, Aries, I've never seen you guys so strong as you are now. I can feel your energy. It, it's pretty mighty powerful. 
because if I'm looking at this three of swords, this is profound pain. And I'm looking at this. That means you really have the strength to hide this or suppress this or not show this. And I know that's like an airy straight, but damn, do you not feel this? You feel betrayed possibly by a third party situation or you're just hurt. You're like, I made myself a third party situation. I allowed a third party situation. I'm the person in the shadows. Well, fuck that. You know, and you're like, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to be that. And, and or some of you could be on the flip side. You could be like, I'm not going to make my person a third party situation. So you're like, I'm going to do the smart, wise thing, hermit, and just let this all fall away. Let it fall apart. I'm not going to do a third party situation or be the third person. Yeah. So you're resisting. You're doing the smart play, Queen of Swords. That's you guys. You're doing smart play. You're using this. I guess this is why you have so much water in your advice position. Yeah, you're, you, you are. You're holding back. You're resisting. You're resisting from making some major moves. This is why you also have the tower. FYI. Because <laughs> when you don't make moves and you don't say anything, you don't do anything, Spirit's going to do it for you. What's the higher font? The fool. This is nice stuff. What you don't see coming, you're going to take a leap of faith. Whether that's going to be dolo, doing it alone by yourself, or taking a risk here with somebody. Let's see what this is all about. Because some of you are leaving a marriage. Others of you are taking a risk to go towards one. And building a foundation here with someone. Clarify the Empress. I really feel like there's two camps because of the fool. The fool tells me you're going to take a, um, a new new life path. And you excited about it too on top of it. That's why I'm seeing this page of rods twice now. Yeah. Look at you guys. Your guys are going to be A-OK -okay no matter what. Look at you. This is the best feeling in the world to be the page of rods. It's a feeling. Because you're healed or you're healing. Some of you have healed a rift, healed a situation, healed your marriage. Others of you have healed from a betrayal and now you're moving on. That's the theme. Whatever your circumstances in the general pop of Aries. But this is also your card, the Page of Rods. That's feeling like excited again. Like a kid in a candy store. What? What can I choose? Oh my God, there's so much to choose from. Like life is good again. Life feels fun. Because you healed, or you will be. You're going to be healing from an ending of something that's dead and done and buried. You're like, this shit is buried. It's done. New chapter. The Fool. I'm excited. I also feel healed. Let's do this. That's kind of what's happening here. Whoever you're dealing with is in the same boat as you. Aries advice, please. What is all this water sign? I have never seen this before in my life like this especially for Aries Queen of Pentacles you guys are nurturing loving kind and caring this is where you're at you know why you're that you're you're at this like part of your lives is there oh my god yeah you're you're totally this Empress Queen of Pentacles this is you guys nurturing loving kind caring mom mom card that's what moms do they're nurturing ten of cups being a happy couple here with somebody you want to love and be loved you want to nurture someone but you want them to nurture you back the queen of pentacles nurtures a garden she grows flowers tomatoes you want the same fucking thing for you <laughs> and you're like where is this person spirits like saying this person feels the same way you do and you're feeling lately a lot like this because how we're we've been talking about aries that the stars and the planets are aligning for your career and your coin. It's also the um, the theme for you to be uh, grounded, to have all your shit together. And you want all your shit together. You don't want just the great career and the money. You want the love life too. You, you want it all. And that comes with this package. And this is falling in your advice position. The spirit's like saying, you want to be a happy couple here? You also have to stabilize a lot of things in your life. 
How are you going to do that? You have to be emotionally stable too. Emotionally intelligent. They're like, acknowledge this pain. Acknowledge your past. Face up to it. Look at it for what it is. And then you're going to be able to move on. Because there's somebody here. with. This is like, for me, a happy couple. The potential of a happy couple. Two of cups, ten of cups. Ten of Cups. What else is their advice? Let me have one more, please, Spirit. Ground yourself. Deal with your emotions. There is a potential of you being here, a happy couple with somebody. Ten of Cups. That's overall what it's saying right there. Anything else for their advice? Yeah. They're like, do you know what emotionally mature people do? They don't give a fuck what the other person's going to think or say or do because you're you're you are in your mind and heart and space are above them if you get rejected it's not going to diminish you it's not going to make you feel small you'll be like all right i don't feel rejected i'm just not for you i'm not your type whatever it is who cares and maybe they did you a favor why am i telling you all this knight of cups i'm keep getting cups and cups and cups be you, be nurturing, loving, kind, and caring. Make that offer, make that gesture, spirits, like saying, ask somebody out. What's the worst that could happen? They're gonna say no? Okay, great, you know where you stand. Moving on, next. Seven of cups. You have choices, you have options. It's like playing, you know, bingo, eventually you're gonna win something. It's like, no, I'm, I'm kidding. Honestly, it's like, I think I did someone's private reading, personal reading, and I was saying to them, honestly, guys, it's your frequency. It's your energy. Spirit can tune in. You, Your heart desires can be saying, I want new. I want this. I want that. But does that what you really want? Because we each have our own radio station. So when spirit tunes into our frequency, our vibration, and tunes into our personal radio station, what are they going to hear? What's the energy they're going to feel? Spirit's like, if you're putting this out, this is like somebody who, you know what, goes to like, Five dating sites because they're serious. They're serious. They're serious like the Queen of Pentacles. They want a commitment and they're looking for their person. They're not just going on five dating sites because, you know, they just want to have fun and whatever and have flings. No, no. Spirit's picking up on that energy. That's what they're saying. You want serious? You got to get emotionally smart and intelligent and make these moves cares if they reject you that's not the point you're going to keep going on these dating sites eventually you're going to hit on somebody i'm not saying do that but that's the intention the intention is putting yourself out there that way to make things change for you and spirits are like trying to tell you how you're going to do this and that's how whether this is your storyline or not take the advice now you are healing from a betrayal and an ending and you are single but the good news is you're excited about this you're like you know what this shit is cathartic. I can breathe again. I'm going to put myself out there. And check out five dating sites. No, I'm just kidding. No, but you're starting to like, you know, like, tell your friends, hey, you have somebody that, that can hook me up. Or hey, like, I'm starting to like, look at people in the office that could be potential crushes. Or hey, you know, like, I have my eyes around and they're wandering as opposed to hermit mode where you're down. And you go to the supermarket and you're not even looking at the shelves. You're just putting shit in the shelf in your cart because you need it. You're not actually looking at people or things like that. That's hermit mode. You're coming out of that funk. You're healing. Over a betrayal and an ending. It's like finally. Yeah, there was a there's a breakup here. Some of you are definitely putting down a relationship. I ain't gonna lie about this. Um Two of Cups in Reverse, Nine of Pentacles. Very single. But you know what? You you excited. You're like, I've healed from this betrayal. A lot of you could have been an Earth sign, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. That had you stuck for a very long fucking time. And you're like, I'm not stuck anymore. I'm moving on with my life. Chariot. Now I'm slowly moving in the direction of me. That's what I see here. See what your romance angels have to say. Guys, I know my videos are long-winded. I've got to, like, edit myself, like, a good 10 minutes. Aries, please. Then again, it's tarot and it's enlightenment, so please take it as it flows to you. Um, 
children is here and this could be the one so yes when i see this guys the two of cups here in your advice position and the ten of cups someone here potentially can be the one unfortunately your ass has to fucking ask them out and invite them are you gonna do it they're like no not me i did my thing it's it's them they gotta do it <laughs> that's the advice now the person that you're dealing with yes they could be the one they could be children the problem is some of you are dealing with children your love life is being affected by children some of you you can't leave a situation because of kids or your person can't leave a situation because of kids uh others of you the person that you're dating probably wants kids maybe you don't want them who knows there's all different reasons going on here let's get a card um in the extended i will clarify this with tarot guys my extended videos for members my membership uh is changing in september it's going to be four groups it's going to be broken down by elements you'll have access to if you're a member of fire you'll have access to all the extended videos for the month for fire signs you could be as in as many memberships as you like but they're now going to be broken by elements because some elements don't really follow me and sometimes there's just no point in me doing their extended videos. Let's see what Aries is. But it looks like I'll always be doing like all the earth and fire signs for the foreseeable future. I've got to do a live session with you guys one day for sure. Fragment is here. Let's see what fragment is for you guys. Sometimes it seems that life is split into so many parts, all of them separate and difficult to bring together. Family, friends, work, study. Jesus Christ, I was just talking about this earlier. Activities can all seem unrelated to each other. My child, you are always whole. Even if at times things feel, feels separate and fragmented, that is only an illusion. Choosing this symbol reminds you that all the moving parts of your life are important. If the one you're asking about seems confusing, focus on the one that brings you clarity. Be here now, and I, Nyx, love you, knowing that, see you as a beautiful and whole, regardless of how disconnected things seem to you. Also, remember to take a step back when you're trying to understand something. You may be looking at only one piece of a giant puzzle, a fragment of the truth. See the big picture through my eyes, and no matter what, all is well. Yeah, there's so many parts of you right now that I was, as I was saying earlier, it can feel a little bit like overwhelming. So while you're in this hermit mode and you're like, yeah, what about this? And what about that? And what about Morris next door? And about two cent Sally over there? Who knows? It's only a small piece of the puzzle. It's all about the journey, guys. That's all it is. And what we learn on our way as we proceed in life. All right, members, I will see you at the extended. The link is down below. Everyone else, I'll see you in a week.